Hey guys! Hey everybody, it's me Zach. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to finally cook the <laughs> salmon. <laughs> the the god-awful salmon. We're ready to do it now. If you didn't know, one of the most popular series I did on my channel even before I was doing reactions was recreating Gimberlin Reed recipes. I kind of stopped doing that for a while because I was vegetarian. She also wasn't cooking as much so there was like less things for me to make, do, whatever. And now I'm just ready to re-embrace all of that. You know, we're, we're, we're out here, we're ready to try this salmon recipe. So I'll link a playlist down below though if you wanna go back and watch all of the um, episodes I made of me recreating her, her meals. I will, I will leave that for you below. But today we're doing the salmon, can you believe? Can you believe? I can't, <laughs> I cannot. Also, one other thing, people are like, why would you wanna waste this food? Every single time I made a video, good or bad, I've finished it all. Now, I don't love salmon, so we'll see if that happens this time. But I just want you to know that like, I really am not about wasting food. I will suffer through something uh, because most of what she has made has been edible, just not, desirable, <laughs> I guess is what I'll say. So anyways, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is get your oven set. So we're just gonna preheat the oven. The next thing you wanna do is get the cruddiest looking pan you can find. Don't worry, that was Knoll's, so that that's fine, that's okay. Get the cruddiest looking pan you can find, and it's fine that it looks cruddy, because we're gonna cover it with aluminum foil. Thank God I said that correctly. So you're gonna get out the aluminum foil, cover this, that's the next step. Okay, so you're just gonna do a, this type of a situation. Great. So the next thing you're gonna do is take your pan cooking spray. And you're just gonna, you're gonna spray down the aluminum foil. Feel free to be generous with it. All right, and so then we have this salmon. It's from Trader Joe's. I'm super excited about it. Give me just a second. I don't know how to open this. I definitely don't want to touch it with my fingers because that's gross, but this is actually really hard. What the hell? They said, you are not going to eat this salmon. <laughs> okay, so there's that, but now what do I do? Now how do I get it open? What's it? Here, we'll just do that. But y'all, y'all, it's got skin on the bottom. It's got skin on the bottom. I don't wanna touch it, cause gross. But do you see that skin on the bottom? Now I think this is probably two, two portions, like two servings. Like, I'm for sure probably not going to eat all of that. So now that we have it on the tray, on the sheet pan, we are just gonna get our seasonings. I got some garlic salt. Now you wanna be generous with this, right? Don't worry about your sodiums. Just be generous. You wanna be generous with the garlic salt. Get a nice dusting. <laughs> Honestly, not sure if that is enough. We might come back to it. Also got some onion powder. And again, you wanna be very liberal with this. All right, we got all of that. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> 
I hate me so much for this. And then you just want to go in with your black pepper. Now you do want to pat it down. I saw a YouTuber do this once, so pat it down, pat it down. Pat it down, pat it down. You know, you just want a nice, even, thick layer of dust. Great. And then to finish it off, because I'm a dry girl, I like it dry, I want it crispy. So you're just gonna spray the top with some pan. And that's it. Now, I had to wait for the oven to preheat st still, so we're gonna do that, and I will come back when it's done. Now, Emberlyn didn't say how long to actually bake it for, so we're just gonna probably look up, like, in general, how long <laughs> does salmon need baked for. I will come back, and we'll try this on camera for y'all. Hey guys, so here we have the finished product i ended up baking it in the oven for about six ish minutes that seemed to be the consensus i was finding on the internet since amberlyn didn't show us and this is the finished product look at that layer it actually doesn't smell that bad but in general like i love the smell of garlic and onions so i feel like that's probably okay that's probably why i'm like oh it's not that bad but this is it. This is the finished product. Now the middle part is apparently the most important part because that's where the omega-3 is. Apparently, allegedly. Not throughout the whole fish, just in the middle. So that's the part that matters. So let's see if we can get in there. I don't, is that cooked? Is that, I don't, <laughs> I honestly don't know. I'm so nervous. I don't love fish and that looks a little raw. I think it's supposed to be done if it's flaky. This feels more done. This is flaky over here. I'm worried that that might not be done in the middle. That feels a little, a little raw. Like this video is so raw, you guys. Fuck, fuck me, like damn. But this on the edge, this looks flaky. I think this is done. I do know that that's supposed to be like a sign that your your salmon is finished. All right. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Honestly, no. I. <laughs> I wanted to say something redeeming. But there's just way too much garlic salt on that. <laughs> it is so salty. Lord Jesus, help me. I do, you know, there might be a little bit of butteriness. I might be a little bit in confusion right now. I actually don't think I hate salmon as much as I thought I did. Like, I don't know, it's also been a long time since I like forced myself to eat salmon. Um, I don't love it, I will say. I will say I don't love the salmon. But let's take another bite. Since I'm not sure if that's done in the middle, we'll just scrape off some of the seasoning. <laughs> let's try this again. <sighs> Judy, help me. Oh, oh my God. The top is just so salty. It's tr <laughs> it's truly too much sodiums. Too many sodiums. It's just, ooh, Chile. I'm gonna take another bite, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is for y'all. I told y'all I would do this and I'm doing it. That bite was a little better because there was less crust and it was more just like straight up salmon. But y'all, I don't, I don't know if this is it. 
I don't know. I don't know. I just gave you all that long story about how I like always eat the food that she makes. Do y'all think I overdid it with the seasoning? Like, I feel like I put on as much as she did. I truly did. And this is just grotesque. This is heinous. This is not good. This is not cute. <laughs> I need somebody to call the cops. Don't call the cops, actually, but we need somebody to come take care of this. Gordon Ramsay, where you at, sis? Where you at, ma'am? I need your help. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know what to say about this. I also had to, like, I was going to eat this as my lunch today before I go to work. And I just, like, don't think I can do it. I don't. I'm going to have to figure something else out. This is, this is not good. This was not great. Amberlynn, I'm sorry to tell you, but did not love it. Would not recommend. <laughs> Absolutely not. Whew. My stomach is still churning a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Anyways. That's literally all I have for this video. Uh, I'm still gonna try to do reacts throughout Vlogmas. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I go live. Of course, you can also leave me a comment and hit the like button. Also, follow me on all of my social media. I had fun doing this even though it tasted like garbage. So, I hope you did too. I'll see you all next time. Bye!